All right, so before we get into the video, I'm super excited to let you guys know we have done it again. We've launched a new channel. Me, Che, Eamon, and Rebecca are going to be on it. The channel is called Tier List, where we rank everything and anything. Check out the description down below. We have a link for you guys, and we even have our very first video up by the time you watch this video. So go check it out and hit the subscribe button. Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm talking all about the top 10 scary White House urban legends. Before we get into this video, I want to know one, have you ever been to the White House? And two, what landmark would you love an urban legends list for? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And also, please do hit that thumbs up button and share this video with a friend who loves a good legend or conspiracy. Isn't that all of us on some teeny level? Also, do check out the links in the description box for the links to our most amazing Instagrams. Do stick around to the end of the video where I'll be reading out some comments from a previous one. Coming in at number 10. We have Abraham Lincoln's ghost. Legend has it that one of the most famous United States presidents still lives in the White House in the form of a ghost, anyway. Spooky. Not only that, Abraham Lincoln's son Willie is also said to haunt the White House. Now, he actually sadly died there age 11 in 1862. Many people have actually seen Abe's ghost, including some very credible sources. The Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Winston Churchill, for one. The story goes that he emerged from a bath in his White House bedroom to see the apparition of the great former Prez. What a stay, Jesus. He reportedly said, Good evening, Mr. President. You seem to have me at a disadvantage. What incredible story. Can you even imagine? Like, you're the Prime Minister, you see a dead president. I'd be starstruck. Not only would I have seen a ghost, but like, a famous ghost. Amazing. Coming in at number nine, we have the lasers. Lasers. The White House grounds are filled with infrared sensors that can detect any activity in whatever lighting state. Now, the infrared system is said to cover 18 acres of the sprawling White House grounds. But on top of that, legend has it that the White House is fitted with secret lasers. One legend even says that the lasers are guarding something even scarier. That would be the Stinger anti-aircraft missiles meant to protect the building from any 9-11 style attacks. The laser protecting the missiles is said to be green and flashing when it activates in order to disorientate attackers. Absolute disco inferno. Coming in at number eight, we have this secret bunker. Does the White House have a secret bunker hidden underneath it? Like, to be honest, Probably, right? Of course, America has some of the best missile defense systems in the world, but if the worst came to the worst, if Washington was nuked, and to be fair, it is a pretty big target, of course, the president would have a nuclear bomb proof bunker at the White House. It just makes so much sense. In 1987, Ronald Reagan famously had secret tunnels built, and the urban legend at the time said that he did this so that he could have access to a secret bunker via a hidden panel in a White House room that led to a hidden elevator. So descriptive, I love it. The plot thickened in 2010 when the White House underwent secret constructions at the cost of a whopping $376 million. When the West Wing emerged looking basically the same, people realized that the work must have gone underground. What was Obama building down there? Tell us. Coming in at number seven, we have the air ducts are large enough for someone to sit in or sneak in. So the White House air ducts are absolutely huge. Literally wider than a former bedroom in my old house in North London. They're massive. This has led many to speculate as to why they would need such big air vents. Now, a lot of the main theories out there say that actually these air vents are so big because they're secret passageways to secret rooms. Maybe the secret bunker. Things are getting fiery and out of control. Coming in at number six, we have the burn of the British. The British has a long and mainly fraught history with the United States of America. What with the whole we used to claim to own America thing. It's pretty awkward. Anyway, that's all water under the bridge. Mostly. On August the 24th, 1814, the British attacked the White House in the burning of Washington. It was a savage attack. Before the Brits torched the White House, it is said that they raided the fridge, or the scullery, the fridge of the 1800s, and they made a lavish meal which they ate on White House crockery. When they were done eating, they trashed the place and set light to it. So disrespectful. President Madison actually had to go and live elsewhere, and the next pres to take up residence in the 
rebuilt White House was James Monroe in 1817. It is said that the scorch marks from the fire are still visible on some of the White House walls to this day. In 2014, the British upset a few people when the UK Embassy tweeted a picture of a giant White House cake on the 200 year anniversary of the burning. The caption said, Commemorating the 200th anniversary of burning the White House. Only sparklers this time. Lol, classic British humour. Some people did not find it funny. And to be honest, I do kind of get why. Coming in at number 5, Polly has a potty mouth. Legend has it that President Andrew Jackson had a parrot with a penchant for swearing, and it was actually called Polly. Well, Pole, but close. Pole was an African grey parrot known for their intelligence. So basically, being an intelligent parrot, did pesky old Pole know what she was doing when she caused a ruckus in church? I actually really enjoy this excerpt from Samuel G. Hellskell's Andrew Jackson and Early Tennessee History. They wrote, Before the sermon and while the crowd was gathering, a wicked parrot that was a household pet got excited and commenced swearing so loud and long as to disturb the people and had to be carried away from the house. I actually love the sound of Pole. I'm all about a wicked parrot, seriously. But once again, did they know what they're doing? I'm pretty pro parrots at all times, basically. Yay, parrots. I'll say it again. Parrots. Coming in at number 4, we have Of Donald and the Blood Red Christmas. Urban legend or crack conspiracy theories are perpetuating that Melania Trump is trying to tell us something, be it from her clothes or handbag positioning or from her decorational choices in the White House itself. So with that in mind, have a look at the White House Christmas trees from 2018. Very, very red. Very Star Wars Imperial Guard. Some people were suspecting that Melania's choice in decor was hinting at a Sith organization. Others drew comparisons to The Handmaid's Tale. Many a meme was shared. One tweeter even said that the trees looked like piles of organ meat, which is pretty grim. Honestly, though, they were really, really, really bright red. The year before, Melania decorated the White House with a very spooky looking tree arrangement, which left people to question whether she was trying to express something through her art. Coming in to number three, we have The White House is Sinking. Literally, not metaphorically, but maybe a bit of both. So, is The White House Sinking fact or legend? Well, actually, fact. Sort of. Ish. In 2018, a big sinkhole was made public when Steve Herman of VOA News tweeted pictures of it. He said, This week I've been observing a sinkhole on the White House North Lawn, just outside the press briefing room. It's been growing larger by the day. After the tweet, the sinkhole grew and another opened next to it. Now, later Steve Herman tweeted again, saying the sinkhole is now a cover up when it seemed as if the hole had been boarded over. Of course, some wise cracker opened a Twitter account for the whole, and actually, I kind of enjoyed it. Obviously. Anyway, of course, this spread fake news that the White House is sinking. While there may be a few sinkholes, I think it would take quite a lot to sink the actual main ship of America. Coming into number two, we have the big red telephone and the big red button. In the Cold War era, the big red telephone got a lot of media airtime. The phone was supposed to be the hotline of the Cold War, connecting Washington to Moscow. The hotline was set up in 1963, allowing for direct communication between the leaders of the world's two scariest nuclear powers, America and Russia. It turns out that actually no such red telephone ever existed. It was actually a rudimentary fax machine, then an actual fax machine in the 1980s. In 2008, the Moscow Washington hotline was updated and it is now a super secure email link. So, about that big red button that Mr. Trump and Mr. Putin talk about so often, it is likely there aren't any red buttons that can launch nukes at a press either. This wouldn't be the case at the White House or the Kremlin. Finally, coming into number one, being president is cursed. It is a tough job, but somebody has to do it. Nobody ever thought that being president would be a walk in the park, but is the top job in America cursed? The stats actually seem to suggest so. 45 people have held the job of president of the United States. Now, Eight of those have died in office. Eight out of 45, which means that there's a death rate of 17.7%, which does make it the most dangerous job in the world. So, is the role of Prez cursed? Or is it just the White House that's cursed? Well, 10 people have actually died in 1600 Pennsylvania Ave. 10 people have actually died in the White House. Now, this includes two presidents and three first ladies. This also isn't including any of the slaves who died building it, so maybe it is cursed. Lots of ghosts, lots of ghouls. 
curse. There you have it, that was the top 10 scary White House urban legends. Which did you think was the scariest? Do you believe in any of the legends or do you think that they're absolute nonsense? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, what should we make a scary list for next? And are there any other landmarks that we should cover with urban legends? I bet the Statue of Libs has loads. Before I get out of here, I'm going to read some comments from the top 10 scary things found in the desert part 2. Now, this was me and Jocelyn together in a video, and you guys loved her. Emil Grieve said, Message, I've been subscribed to Beyond the Screen since you first mentioned the channel. By the way, please do an Urban Legends on Denmark. Ooh, I don't know if we've done it already, but I'd like to do Denmark, and yay for Beyond the Screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, said, More conspiracy theories. Jonathan Davis said, I eat chicken babies. I really don't know what that means. Dissident X said, do a top 10 demons you should summon. Ooh, I feel like on our top 5 scary videos channel, Jack Finch does loads of demon summoning videos. So if you want some demon summoning, why not head over to top 5? Maybe we'll do some on most amazing top 10. But honestly, I'm a little bit scared. Ah. Once again, guys, do let me know if you like this video. Show me you liked it by leaving a thumbs up and sharing it with a friend. Stay subscribed for more most amazing lists. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and I'll see you soon. Bye.